So it's uh, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. Heading down to Gaylord to go fishing with my dad. Haven't done this in five years. I think it's five years, four years at least. Uh, the Gulf Coast, Alabama was the last time I got to uh, fish with my dad. So what's even better is my, my brother's coming up. All three of us here go fishing today. Growing up, we were an extra 25 fish off the lake. You know, when we went fishing, it wasn't all about spending time with, you know, with the Norman Rockwell of uh, paintings there when we went out on the lake. It was, uh, we could have more numbers. If the fish were biting, Dad brought the kids and, uh, me and my little brother would be out there and we'd be just freezing to death. <laughs> we, we didn't like fishing, you know. So, we uh, we get older and then what do we do? I just want to go fishing with my dad. Um, go out there and be on the ice and, uh, and hopefully uh, have some good laughs and make some good memories. So, I'm on my way there. <clears throat> and, uh, this, this video is about today is uh, me and my brother and my dad. So, hope it's kind of cool. service announcement here you're traveling the roads in Michigan in the winter time you think you have to pee you better pull over and take a pee because uh, not every other rest area is closed and I've had to pee for quite a while so I'm gonna go in and take a pee alright so we made it we're uh uh oh what's the bank we're almost with the ditch yeah, there is no ditch it's a bank so we're off to the Gola. Uh, we going to the Little Bear or are we going to the Big Lake? We're going to the Big Lake. Yeah. We're going to the Big Lake. Okay, we're going to the Big Lake. So uh, we're here. I'll set it up and uh, you can watch us. Three monkeys fucking a football trying to put this shit together when we get there, okay? We didn't get skunked yet. They all got 
big old trophy bluegill. About that big. <laughs> uh, if we get something big, we'll show you. So we're just sitting down for dinner after a long day of fishing. And if you can't tell, we're at a restaurant, at a bar. We're not eating fish. Because we're, we're going to catch shit. They're kind of like me being the great white hunter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not any good at that either. Yeah, there's two of us this year. And I didn't get nothing. Day two of the Epic Fishing Weekend is sponsored by Culver's. Because we suck at fishing, still. <laughs> So we don't suck at it. We were there in the first week. We were great. We were great at fishing, just not catching. We caught fish. They were. But they gotta be a little bit bigger to get yeah. a fillet off them. Mm. Yeah. You know. We were starving with a kept them, but we weren't. So right. as you can tell, we're I'm not starving. <laughs> Here in the Great White North, we have ice fishing shacks. They're putting one together. They're gonna color code the, the bars, make it a little bit easier. So you ain't gotta hold them up and figure out which bar goes to where to brace it all up when you put it up. So they're both inside there right now. I'll show you what we got going on inside. Sort of you still got your instruction? What I've been doing while they're over there playing, I took the batteries, put it in this light bar. Check this out. Now these lights will spin. Let me turn it on. This. See? Take this, you can turn it and turn it all the way around. You can point the light anywhere you want it to go. You can have it, all of them in different directions. Pretty nifty. Whoever got that for Dan, it's awesome. Now this makes for the greatest TV watching. Just listening to people talk while we're inside and ice shanty. Should be kind of in there. But it's so much more fun out here listening to them on the inside, trying to figure out what the hell they're doing. So. <laughs> Actually, we're just listening to Gail think out loud. Let me want some snack. All right, they can do two things at once. Look at that bald spot. Did you see that? Oh my God, that's like catching a, a glimpse of a wild rhino out in the East African coast or something. People just don't see that. Every day. Yeah, this is too bad. Fishing, you spin these out and you can set a rod right there. Okay. So you can jig, you can have two dead sticks right here just in there with that, and you can still be fishing. But you see how this is all loose up in there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. That's the same way that corner should be. So <coughs> now Got a thing on here, right here, like this pop that comes right on over and velcros to the side, right there. If you got some time to, yeah, pretty nifty. There's probably a trick that we just don't know about it, Gail. That's what you said. You just got the directions, kind of thing. We can go online if we had internet, I guess. Well, I'll be going online. Like, yeah, I bet you, I bet you, there's a trick to it. Well, here's another thing I want. We were having a little problem with the shack. Um, it wasn't going together right. Um, damn it. I'm about ready to go back to Jay's and tear up some ass or something. But Dad said, hey, I think I got the directions in the back in the, in the house. <laughs> Guess what we did? We read the directions. And now it works. <laughs> Public service announcement number two. Read the directions. Stretches and all that. You want to pop it out and fold it up and go over there? Yeah, we can do 
that too. Well, and that way it's set. Right. And we can set it up over there. Well, we're going to take it down and we're going to look at it. Let's take it down. We'll pull it over the bar. And we're going to come in here and I'm going to set it up. And if you got any questions when you're setting it up, I'm right here to help you. You see, by marking it and taping it, it helps you a little bit. How's that? I mean, I got, we got all these marks, so you know where your bubbles go, right in the middle. You know what? I still have to take this one out here. This one out here is on the yeah. Yeah. Your lines. You can just reel your bobber up with your line. Couldn't find them. And I made a comment one time. If I ever find those sons of bitches, I'm buying every one of the goddamn show. I said, there's more bobbers there than I'll go through in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>